guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how I achieve naturally fuller lips. So I'm going to show you the products that I'm going to be using and then I will jump in on how to use them. So first we're going to start off with a lip scrub. This one is the Kiss. This is actually from last year. It's from Lush. It's the Valentine's Day collection and it has like sprinkles in it. But you do not have to have a lip scrub from a store or name brand or anything. You can actually just use some sugar, some olive oil, or you can mix sugar and Vaseline, whatever you prefer. But the point is, is that you want to scrub your lips. And when you scrub your lips, you're exfoliating and getting the dead skin off, but you are also kind of getting that blood flowing in your lips, which are going to automatically cause them to plump. Kaplan MD, this is a lip mask, and then it comes with a balm. And you can actually pick this up at Sephora, and I'm pretty sure it's like 20, 23 to $25. It's not very much, but I promise you it's totally worth it. This is one of my favorite, favorite products. I am so thankful I got to try this because it's so, so good. It's just that good. And then next is going to be another lip mask, and this one is from... Best Damn Beauty, and I'm almost out, as you can see, but I ordered this when she very, when Nicole very first came out with this, so it's been, I think, since last June, so, I mean, it's lasted me a really, really long time, and when you do order this and get it, you want to stir it up to kind of make it, like, whipped and softer, but it it's golden. Like, I, lo I love this stuff, and I actually need to order another one. And I'm pretty sure this is, like, 25 also, or 22, but it's definitely worth it. And it lasts you for a long time. Okay, so first we are going to start off with the lip scrub. So you just want to take some, kind of lick your lips a little bit, <laughs> and then take your finger and just scrub your lips. And I'll show you guys before what my lips are and then after. So those are before, and then let's get to scrubbing. And if you see like big chunks on my lip, it's like the sprinkles, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you just want to take it and just go ahead and wipe it off. And I'm pretty sure the Lush ones are actually edible. So if you get a little in your mouth, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now my lips are nice and smooth. So I'm not going to, when I apply lip products, it's not going to clump up and have dry skin. This is what it actually looks like. Pretty cute. And they have, like, all kinds of flavors. I think they have, like, bubblegum and mint and just all kind of fun flavors. And they're not very much. I think these are, like, ten bucks. And, like I said, it lasts you forever. Okay, next we are going to go in with the Kaplan MD Lip Mask. And you want to actually leave this mask on for five minutes. I think it's, like, three to five minutes. And then wipe it off. But what I actually do is I'm going to leave it on. So I'm going to take a generous amount. It's just, and I'm gonna take about that much. I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. Okay, and just allow it to sit for a few minutes and kind of dry and soak in. So you can wipe this off or you can leave it on. It's totally up to you. I have done both, but I actually really like leaving it on, so I'm going to do that. And I kind of just pat it to help it soak in a little bit more.
You can already see, and you'll feel a little bit of tingle with this, but it's not like a burning. It's just kind of like it feels like it's plumping them a little bit, but it's not like a really bad burning sensation. It's pretty soaked in. And you want to take it like on the outer part of your lip too. So you of course want to do it before you have makeup on. But Okay, next I'm going to actually take the balm. And it has SPF 20 in it also. And it's just like a clear little gel. And I'm going to take my Best Damn Beauty mask and I'm going to apply it over that. And I know this like seems like a ton of products to put on your lips before your lipstick, but I promise you it just makes such a difference. Your lipstick stays on better, your lips look better, they're softer. You don't want to go in and kiss somebody <laughs> with chapped lips or, you know, like having them full and plump is a really big plus. So, um, these are the steps I Just like a light pink. See, they're much already much fuller than when we started. And yes, I do have an advantage because both of my top and bottom lip are full, but I promise you if you do these steps, you will notice a big difference. This stuff is like wonders. Okay, and that's what I do to prep my lips. Now, I don't do this every single day. I use the lip mask every single day and then I exfoliate like every two days. But I'm going out and I know that I want my lips to be plump, then that's when I do that full step. But if it's just an everyday basis, I'll use this Best Damn Lip Mask every day and then exfoliate every other day. Now, I've noticed, even for myself, you think maybe a product, maybe a lip product isn't working for you because your lips are still chapped looking. And really, that's just the dead skin and the products and you eating and everything that goes onto your lips so it's very important to exfoliate it doesn't mean that the products not working it just means that you have to remove that dead skin and then place the product on top okay so now I'm going to show you how I line my lips and then just apply some lipstick because it's so weird not having lips <laughs> on my face okay so you know what I mean <laughs> okay, so you can go in. I like to go in with either a nude or a very like pink shade. This one's kind of more of a mauvey pink, but anyways, so to get natural fuller lips, you want to overline just a tiny bit, but you don't want to go crazy with the overlining because it just sometimes does not look very cute. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this color and it's actually, what color are you? Tell me. Nude pink. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go in with Nude Pink by NYX. I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the color Snob by MAC. I'm sure quite a bit of you own this color. You know what's so funny is when I first started making videos, I remember I was like, I take my lipstick and I dab it on. I never rub it. Just because I was so scared of lipstick. I was like. <laughs> now I'm like. Pile it on. Just 
thought you guys wouldn't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this Eclair. It's the Butter Gloss by NYX. Okay, and there we have it. That is how I achieve naturally fuller lips. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and you know I will answer them for you. And I will be sure to list all of these products down below and where you can pick them up at. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's easy for you to do and I hope it helps you achieve naturally fuller lips because who doesn't want full lips? Um, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye.